Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Here is my long awaited six month rice water journey video. Now everyone has done a video on rice water by now um, and most of you do have an opinion on whether or not you think rice water is beneficial. I've yet to see anyone do a video or show results of more than three months which is why I wanted to do a video spanning six months. Now my decision to go forth with the rice water came down to two people, specifically the Green Beauty channel. She has a great channel you guys, please check her out and second Miss Debbie Williams. So the footage you're going to see up next is from December 2018. This is fermentation after one day. It smells like oranges. Perhaps I should have waited to add the oranges after the second day but it doesn't stink at all and this is the type of rice I use. Long grain rice, Kroger brand, fries, also, in the future, I will be using organic jasmine rice. All right, so it's January, and this is going to be my very first month check. My hair is stretched, so I'm going to take down this twist and also uh, twist it back up here in a minute just to show you what it looks like. And yeah. <music> So before I was using jasmine rice, now I will be using organic brown rice. Now I know Dr. Debbie Williams said that white rice has, I guess is better for uh, the rice water rinse as opposed to brown rice. And I do know that brown rice has a little bit, what is it, arsenic in it? Oh, God. Uh, so yeah, you guys, you know, everything has its benefits. You know, you have to outweigh the pros and cons of anything that you use for your body, your hair, etc. So again, I do want to make sure, you do want to make sure that the rice is organic, whatever you use. So I'm going to be using organic brown rice. I have some squirt bottles here that I purchased in the um, kitchen utensil section at Walmart. I purchased everything at Walmart, by the way. I have a mason jar with a lid. Before you saw me, I had just a regular mason jar with foil paper on it. No, that's not good enough, okay? I have distilled water, and then I have an orange. I'm just gonna eyeball it as far as how much rice to water to put in. I say more is better than less because if it's too strong, you can always dilute it. But if it's not enough, I mean, what can you do? You gotta do another batch. You see what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Water is in. Now this should be enough for me for two rinses. I'm gonna allow this to ferment for four to five days. I haven't had any issues with smell because I add orange peel to the rice water. Um, but yeah, one thing I do want to say, you guys, I've always said this in my videos, there is not one thing that is going to grow your hair, okay? Some things will help you re to retain your length. Um, rice water has been known to help it to grow faster, but it's how you use it and your overall regimen itself, all right? I just want to put that out there. I don't believe that this alone, if I just use this by the self, and I'm not doing anything to make sure that I, you know, I'm keeping my hair moisturized, I'm incorporating low maintenance styling, I'm limiting my heat. This is not gonna help. Does that make sense? So, all right, you guys. All right, y'all, so I did. Now it's been my third rinse with rice water, and I'm telling you, <laughs> After I get the hang of it, I would definitely film how I do it. Um, and I'm trying different ways, but I want to be consistent, okay? I don't necessarily think you have to be consistent in how you use it, but how often, if that makes it as long. Um, so yeah, this is the third time, but baby, let me tell you something. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm, I know I'm extra. I don't know why the first two times when I made it, I just put a foil paper on top, make sure it was closed, and I could see some little bitty bubbles. There was no smell. No smell. I used jasmine rice though. This time around, I put her in a closed container with brown rice, and I used ginger, and I put in the orange peel like I normally do. So when I open it up this time around, there was almost like a sound. Almost, you know how when you open up a can of soda and the carbonate, I guess it's a fermenting process and this boom in your face. No smell, right? 
So I placed her, y'all saw it, I, I, or maybe you didn't, I put it in a, um, in an applicator jar, put her in the fridge for two to three days. Now, I don't know if she kept on fermenting or what in the refrigerator, I thought she would stop, but when I tell you, I shampooed, I, I still had my hair in twists, when I went back to putting it, I'm like, what the hell is that smell? It smelled like orange booty. Like I could still smell the orange, the citrus smell, but it smelled like straight for a while. So I endured, I endured. Um, I, I did the rinse, but then I took a bath so that it could stay on there for at least five minutes. So then I used my conditioner and that cut the smell off. The brown rice stinks. And I've, I've seen comments from other people that said the jasmine rice doesn't smell as bad. So I'm gonna head down to um, Whole Foods. I want organic jasmine rice and that's what I'm gonna use going forward. Not gonna do the ginger. It didn't smell all the way like jasmine rice when it was fermenting, but it doesn't smell like this ass rice. Girl, no, not doing it, not doing it, y'all. So let me, I had to open up the blind so y'all can see me, y'all. Let me see what this smells like. Mm. Even with the jasmine rice, I use organic jasmine rice, and um, yeah, this 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 kind of stinks. It kind of stinks, <laughs> but it smells like lemon. It's not as bad as that last batch. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, is apply the deep conditioner. I apply this to my scalp, my hair. Not a lot on my hair though, on my ends, and leave it on on the steamer. I'll probably steam my hair for about 20 to 25 minutes. Okay. Do lens check. Sorry about that. Um, it is April, the first week of April. My last lens check was the first beginning of January. That's 12 weeks. Okay, so on average, your hair grows 0.5 inches a month. So let's see how much my hair has grown. Now, the only thing I will say is that my hair is wet, and during my last lens check, it was dry. So I have shrinkage. Okay, let's keep that in mind. However, um, some things that I have noticed so far with doing the rice water rice water rinses. I've been very consistent in using them, um, but I've switched up the type of rice. I went from <laughs> non-organic to brown rice, which is horrible. I settled finally on jasmine organic rice using orange peel. Um, I tried using lemon peel, not the same as using orange peel for some reason. You would think, excuse me, you would think that lemon would be better, but the orange really knocked down the smell. And I've gotten to the point where I actually, and now I'm freezing batches. Which, yeah, so I froze two batches, and what I do is the day before my wash day, I set out a batch, and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hold on, let me show you the frozen batches of rice water. So this is an example, and I have rice water on here. And um, tomorrow is my wash day, so what I'm gonna do is just place this in the refrigerator, and then I will be putting this in my applicator jar. So let's go ahead and see what type of length I've gotten. Um, now, some things I will tell you is that I have um, blown out my hair twice. Have I done it twice this year? No, excuse me, it's only been once this year. Uh, so I've used heat. I've been um, very consistent with washing my hair, but not with the products, because I am in the middle of reviewing several different products. Sorry, you guys. So I have not been consistent with the type of products I use, but I have been consistent in cleansing my hair, moisturizing my hair, if that makes sense. Deep conditioning also. So let's just go ahead and take down this one plate. And again, my hair is wet and um, I'm gonna take down, yeah, see it's wet. See how, yeah, shrinkage. But I'm gonna try to stretch this as much as possible so we can see what length we got. Now in the last video in January, I had 13 inches, okay? So let's see what we have for today. Now I don't want y'all to think I'm cheating. I gotta go all the way down here. Are you? <laughs> 16, 16 inches, y'all. No, I was not at 16, you guys. I wasn't even at 15 and a half. I was more so at like, what, 15 and a quarter, 15 and one fourths. Yeah, so I just wanted to make that correction before we move forward. Yeah, you guys, I really do like that. So we're gonna keep on with the journey. We have, we're in April. 
We have two more months to go. We are now at the end of April. I have been using jasmine, excuse me, rice water every two weeks since January. Yes. What I was going to say is that I have finally settled on organic jasmine rice with orange peel, which leaves hardly no scent. This particular batch has been fermenting for three days. I typically allow it to ferment for three to four days and then place it in an applicator jar. So up next are clips on how I plan on using this particular batch. Now I'm still debating whether or not I want to use my rice water. This is a jar of rice water that's been fermenting for about three days. Girl, this is orange pill in here. Um, this is jasmine organic rice. I'm not sure whether or not I want to use it today. I may go ahead and use it. And what I will probably do is once I'm done rinsing out, because basically the coconut oil and the conditioner, the first conditioner, that's just a pre-poo. Once I'm done rinsing that out, if I decide to use the rice water, I will use it before I actually use this, if that makes sense. So. So now I'm going to go ahead and apply the rice water. Now typically I do this after I shampoo, but however I am co-washing this particular wash day, meaning I'm cleansing with conditioner. So I'm going to add this before I actually add the conditioner. Now you guys, I have no particular method. I just make sure it gets on my hair now. Typically I allow it to sit there while I wash my body. Clearly I can't do that in this video. Here's the conditioner I'm using. But yeah, you guys, some things I've noticed already besides of course the length. My hair feels um, it feels healthier. It's a little bit thicker, I think, and it is definitely shinier. So yes, we have a couple more weeks to go. So for at least one rice water treatment, I did use black rice. Um, this is what it looks like, but I ended up going back to jasmine rice because I just liked the way it smelled. Before we get into the results, I want to show you guys what my hair looked like before I used the rice water and throughout the journey of the rice water itself. So this is before I used the rice water back in early December. This is the old blowout. This is what my hair looked like after I started using it for a couple of weeks. This is February. This is that Melanin Hair Care Review. This is in May, I believe. This is a twist out using mango butter. And clips you see next are from roughly about two weeks ago. All right, you guys? Hey you guys, so here we are six months later, girl, six months later. <laughs> So before we get started with the final results of how much my hair has grown, I wanted to briefly go over why I decided to do the rice water journey. Um, besides looking at a couple of videos from the Green Beauty channel and Miss Debbie Williams, um, I did do my own research, which I would highly recommend doing because as I stated earlier in the video, everybody has their own opinion when it comes to rice water. Do your own research because this may not be for you. So now girl, I used rice water every time I washed my hair. It didn't matter if it was jasmine rice, brown rice, black rice, I always did it every time I washed my hair, okay? Now overall, I would say 70% of the time I use organic jasmine rice because I like the smell and I most of the time used it with orange pill, okay? I think that it was more important of how often I used it than how much, or excuse me, the type of rice I used, all right? I just wanna make that. Uh, put that out there so one of the reasons why i wanted to do this because y'all rice water has been around for years especially in the natural hair community people have been doing rice water rinses onion onion water um yeah it's been around for a while so back in december i cut my hair myself i cut it very uneven and very choppy i did have a correction cut by stylist Erlet pender and it was beautiful but my hair was a lot shorter than i had hoped for and i know some people are like well girl it's just hair it'll grow back but let me tell you something I agree to a certain degree. Um, I went natural by shaving my head. And so I've been through that phase of having short hair and growing out my hair. So it was a huge accomplish accomplishment for me, excuse me, to get to almost waist length. I was literally two or three inches away two to three inches away, excuse me, from waist to length. So it may just be hair for some of you guys, but for me, it was more than that, especially with all I've been through. Um, not to get into anything personal, but battling illnesses, which can have an effect on your hair. And also since my channel is about natural hair, ultimately it's a part of my brand. So, um, but I wanted to be transparent at the time and let you guys know this is what I did. This is how I screwed up, but this is how I plan on um, avoiding that issue and how to correct it. Now my goal was to be all almost at my length before um i was in between 18 to 20 inches around my hair yeah um and then i started the back was like nine inches you guys Woo. 
the back was nine inches the front the longest part was 13 14 inches let's get right into the measurements y'all so all right so whew, i probably should have been using some jesus oil with this stuff y'all so we're gonna go ahead to and stretch this all the way down So she's sitting at about 41 and a half. So that is, okay, all right. That is 16, 16 inches. Yeah, last time I wanted to catch myself because I've been measuring my hair in between and it wasn't. It was like, yeah, no, it wasn't. So I started off at a little over 13 inches. It was like 13, not even at 13 and a quarter. Uh, my hair grew. The average right, y'all. It didn't grow exceptionally faster. Um, I guess I've just been able to retain the length that my hair grew. So overall, I think that it did have its benefits. Now, at the end of the day, would I continue it? No. Just keeping it real. No, I will not be continuing this stinky rice water. Absolutely not. Because this is how I feel. I feel like my hair is healthy. It's very healthy. Now, if I um, was in a period to where my hair wasn't as healthy, if I was experiencing shedding, if my hair felt like it was extremely dry, before I even did go into rice water, I will look at my regimen and figure out what am I doing. I will look at my diet. I will stop, you know, eating certain type of foods. I would do all of that. And then I would also incorporate rice water. But for me personally, I would not be continuing rice water. Now what I will be doing moving forward, because I honestly think that the fact that I use a lot of products is kind of stunted, not necessarily stunted my growth, but I possibly would have seen um, uh, better results if I was using the same type of products throughout my regimen. I will stop doing product reviews here this summer and be going back to my old school. I call my old school regimen girl. So for me personally, and I know this goes against 90% of the info that's out there, I think that I would see the same results, if not better, if I had a have a consistent regimen, eat a little bit better. Um, overall lifestyle, you know what I mean, y'all? So that's what I feel, but Try it out, girl. You know, it, it, look, it doesn't hurt to try it for yourself. And I know there's several of you who are using rice water. So that is it, everyone. Let me know. Drop down in the comment section. Are you using rice water? What has been your experience? Um, do you plan on using it? So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my subscribers. Take care. Bye.